The news of Liam Payne's sudden passing has left fans and the world in disbelief. Former One Direction star Liam Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne has died after falling from the third floor of a hotel in Buenos Aires. How could someone who seemed to have it all, fame, success and the love of millions, be gone so soon? The 31-year-old former One Direction star, a beloved figure in pop culture, tragically lost his life. The overwhelming outpour of grief on social media shows just how deeply Liam's presence touched people across the globe. But behind the fame, it's been reported that Liam was quietly battling his own struggles in recent years, grappling with a sense of not belonging and apparently showing signs of erratic behavior in the weeks leading up to the tragic incident. But how could a man that supposedly had it all feel so lost? People getting into you every day, getting into you every day, like I say, just every so often, you're like, when will they send? You know, and then so, like, that's, that's almost nearly killed me a couple of times. As when in, I've been in a bad place. Yeah, when I've been in a bad place, 100%, yeah. you know, there's no point denying it. It's definitely, it's definitely been on the menu a couple of times in my life. What led him down this destructive and dark path? Bend to my job and let my job overtake things that I didn't mm. like doing. Steve will vouch me on this, like videos for stuff. Mm. And rather than going no, until one day I just was like, I hate everything. And why did things unfold the way they did? Let's rewind and go back to the beginning of Liam's journey in the spotlight. The year is 2008 and a 14 year old aspiring UK singer from Wolverhampton was auditioning on The X Factor, a super popular reality talent competition. Payne performed a cover of Frank Sinatra's classic song Fly Me to the Moon, but his audition didn't go quite as planned. He was sent home to focus on his studies and keep practicing, and to come back when he was actually ready. And come back he did. Two years later, Liam returned with a breathtaking rendition of Michael Bublé's Cry Me a River, winning over the judges and setting the stage for his next big chapter. That's when the magic really happened. He was grouped with fellow contestants Niall Horan, Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson and Zayn Malik to form the band that would change the world, One Direction. Although they finished third in the competition, the group's chemistry, charm and talent elevated them to worldwide stardom winning over fans with their relatable lyrics, strong harmonies and down-to-earth connection with their audience especially on social media. By the time they even released their debut album Up All Night, One Direction were already mega famous. But with that attention came immense pressure. Pressure to constantly meet expectations, maintain perfection and even stay in the public eye. As Payne would later reveal, the crazy rise to fame wasn't always so easy to handle. He once reflected on the toilet took, saying, We were always locked in our hotel rooms. The only way to get frustration out was by drinking. Payne's honesty about the mental strain of living in the spotlight gave the world a glimpse into the darker side of fame that isn't always seen. In 2015, after Zayn Malik's shocking departure from the band, One Direction announced that they were going on a break. The news obviously left their fanbase in disbelief. Though it wasn't all doom and gloom, as each member ended up embarking on their own solo projects. For Liam, this marked the start of a new chapter, but it also may have been the real beginning of his own personal battles. Zayn Malik ended up releasing an incredibly successful solo project. Harry Styles became one of the biggest stars in the world and both Niall and Louis went on to enjoy rewarding careers as touring artists. Payne, however, despite scoring a hit with his single Strip That Down, struggled to recapture the huge success he had enjoyed during his time in the band. Payne even admitted that after the band split, he attended therapy sessions for at least two years, stating, It was difficult at the start because I didn't really know anything about myself. It was a bit of a numb feeling. During this time, Payne's relationship with the X Factor judge, Cheryl Cole, became a major talking point in the media. The couple faced criticism for their age gap, with many feeling uneasy about the fact that Payne had first met Cole when he auditioned for her on the X Factor when he was underage. By 2016, rumors of their romance were confirmed, when the couple made their red carpet debut at the Global Gift Gala in Paris. Liam proudly posted, so proud of her tonight, such a special award, alongside a photo of them together. In 2017, the couple welcomed their son, Bear, marking one of, if not the most joyful moments in Liam's life to date. But just a year later, the couple announced their separation. Payne shared a heartfelt message with fans, writing, It's been a tough decision for us to make. We still have so much love for each other as a family. Despite the split, Payne remained dedicated to co-parenting their son, 
As the years passed and Liam transitioned further into his solo career, the cracks began to surface. While all of his former bandmates continued to thrive in the spotlight, Payne just didn't. Though he had reached a level of success most would envy, he struggled with ongoing mental health challenges. When making an appearance on the podcast The Diary of a CEO in 2021, Payne stated the following. I was worried how far my rock bottom was going to be. Where's rock bottom for me? And you would never have seen it. I'm very good at hiding it. No one would have ever seen it. But rock bottom, it, I, I, I mean, I don't even know if I hit it yet. I can even make that choice now and, and pick my last moment as my rock mm. at the bottom, or I can make a new one and make a whole new low as my choice. Some would say that these comments were cause for concern, but it seemed as though despite the awareness of his struggles, no one could really help him break free from them. He even candidly opened up about his battle with alcoholism, saying, There were a few pictures of me on a boat, and I was bloated out. I call it my pills and booze face. This revelation, along with his own personal reflection on needing a break from the intensity of life in the public eye, showed that Payne was fully aware of the hardships he was facing but felt powerless to change his circumstances. Perhaps the craziest speculations revolve around Payne's turbulent relationships both in his personal life and with his former bandmates. His strained relationship with Maya Henry, his ex fiance has made headlines, with reports of public fallouts and emotional breakdowns. Payne's behaviour during this time, marked by erratic social media posts and public appearances, raises eyebrows. Payne also steered controversy when he discussed behind-the-scenes drama with his One Direction bandmates. In a candid interview, he opened about intense rivalries within the group, particularly tensions with Louis Tomlinson. This revelation broke the myth of the band's picture-perfect camaraderie, hinting at deeper conflicts that may have contributed to their eventual breakup. In the years that followed, his erratic behaviour and struggles with substance use continued to get more and more out of hand, raising concerns among fans and those close to him. As he himself admitted, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit all over the place. I was partying too much. I just wasn't myself. However, just in July of 2023, he shared a video on YouTube, revealing that he had sought treatment at a rehab facility and he was six months sober. Payne appeared genuinely happy during this time, expressing his gratitude for everything he had achieved. Payne began to focus on what he loved most in the world, music. He released his latest song, Teardrops, in March of 2024, and was even announced to be a judge on a new Netflix talent show in August 2024. But just when it seemed things were finally going his way, things quickly shifted. Payne had travelled to Buenos Aires to attend Niall Horan's concert, stating online that they needed to talk and that he needed to confront Horan. In a video taken at the concert, Payne appeared noticeably out of it, and fans reported that he seemed to be struggling. Fast forward a couple of weeks, and the horrific incident occurred. According to police in Buenos Aires, officers initially responded to reports of an aggressive man who may have been under the influence. Upon arriving at the hotel, officials were informed of a loud noise coming from an interior courtyard. Soon after, they discovered the body there, prompting a police investigation. Authorities have since revealed that a bottle of whiskey, a lighter and a mobile phone were found at the scene, indicating that Payne was likely alone when the fall happened. Reports have also been released that Payne was found with a number of substances after autopsy. Some of these substances were heavy hitting. Leaked images of the alleged hotel room he was staying in showcase a rather disturbing scene. Just hours before the incident, Payne posted on Snapchat, saying, It's a lovely day here in Argentina, although the video was actually from earlier in the week when he had been spending time with his girlfriend, Kate Cassidy. Following the news, tributes flooded in from all around the world, highlighting just how deeply loved Payne truly was. The circumstances surrounding the incident still remain unclear, as the investigation is still ongoing, but the outcome is undeniably heartbreaking. Liam Payne's life was one filled with extraordinary highs and profound lows. From the meteoric rise with One Direction to his personal challenges after the band's hiatus, Payne's journey was anything but easy. His honesty about the difficulties he faced offer an important reminder that even those who seem to have everything can carry the heaviest of burdens. As we remember Liam Payne, it's important to honour both the incredible joy he brought to millions around the world and the real struggle he faced behind closed doors.